Hey, hello there. What's up, guys? Actually, back with another video. Well, I hope you guys like my new face. Hmm. Now, nah, let me be a little more techy. Ah, that's better. So, this is what I've been doing all night since I got my new iPhone 10. Playing with emojis. And, huh, spending a lakh on a phone. Well, that sounds crazy. Insane. But again, for the love of technology. Huh? Huh? Let's go. This is the moment guys, the biggest change to iPhone since the original iPhone, the iPhone 10, or as many including me call it the iPhone X. I know you know what this iPhone is all about. So no intros, let's jump right into the unboxing. This is the retail pack, comes in two colors, space grey and silver, this is the grey. What I have here is the 64GB variant which costs 89,000 rupees. Also comes in a 256GB variant which costs a whopping 1 lakh and 2,000 rupees. I know many would get into a debate of oh geez it's very expensive blah blah but that's a whole different story altogether not jumping into that now. However, if you're ready to spend a fortune just for the love of great technology, well, at the time of this video, Citibank offers you Rs. 10,000 cash back if you use either a city credit or debit card to make the purchase. So make sure not to miss that. Alright, opening up the box, we have a booklet which says, Hello. Hey, hello there, expensive phone. Haha. <laughs> Explains a bit about the device. Well, good. Then we have a SIM eject pin. Some info on safety instructions. And that white hypnotizing Apple logo sticker. Then we have the iPhone 10 itself. Oh wow, looks gorgeous. Let me hold on my excitement for a bit and move on to see what else we get. Then we get a standard power adapter. Then an Apple wide earports and a lightning to 3.5mm converter. Yes, this device does not have a 3.5mm slot. Then a lightning cable for charging. That's about the box. Let's boot this up, pretty standard on-screen instructions. Alright, done. Here is the iPhone 10 in its glory. At my first look, I have to admit this is super gorgeous. My camera is not going to do justice, but hell yes, this is awesome. The metal and glass construction, the all-display front, it's a delight. The in-hand feel is pretty amazing. The back is glass, super glossy. Sides are aluminium. Good, but there's a fingerprint magnet. You might see a lot of smudges and using the device without a solid case is suicide because of accidental drops. So make sure you grab a tempered glass and a good quality case. Alright, let's take a spin around the device. To the front is one of the primary highlights of this phone. A 5.8 inch OLED Super Retina HD display with a resolution of 2436 into 1125 pixels and the pixel density is 458 ppi. Colors are super vibrant. The display being OLED is best in its class. Also has 3D touch inbuilt. Due to the notch on the top, not all apps are currently optimized for full screen experience, but that should not take long. Moving on front top is what is the next major highlight where we have a small cutout called the notch with a host of sensors. Yes, that started felt a bit awkward, then I got used to it. The notch houses some advanced sensors as you see in the slide, the dot projector, earpiece and the true depth 7 megapixel f2.2 camera with which you can take front portrait shots too. Also the video recording can go up to 1080p. Also create emojis called animojis like the one you see here. <laughs> you can save them or send them as a message. Oh. 
Then above all to unlock your phone, the much boasted Face ID unlock feature. No more fingerprint sensor. Scan your face twice and it's magic. Apple's new tech unlocks your device automatically the moment you pick up and look at it. It is super fast and for me worked almost every time accurately, even when I tried to change my looks. Let me show you, removing my spectacles, pick up the phone and voila, it unlocks. Let me try with the sunglass. Bingo! Works flawless in low light as well. I will have to test how well it does over time. Also a thing to note is the earpiece acts as a secondary speaker to give you a stereo effect. Volume is loud and clear, cool. Front bottom nothing since the home button is removed, you will have to navigate around the UI using some simple gestures like swipe up to go home, swipe up from bottom left and hold for multitasking, swipe left and right to switch between apps, pull down from top right for control center and middle for notifications. Needs a bit of getting used to. Moving on, bottom we have the speaker and microphone grill with the lightning slot in the middle. And yeah, Apple has killed the 3.5mm slot. If you want to use your whole headphone, use the adapter that is in the box. To the right we have a slightly bigger power button which also works as a multifunction button where you single press to wake up the phone, long press to activate Siri. Nice. Then we have the SIM tray which can take one single nano SIM and yes this device supports Volti, has to, haha. <laughs> to the left we have the mute switch and the volume rocker. Back we have the dual camera setup, 12 megapixel f1.8 wide angle shooter and a 12 megapixel f2.4 telephoto shooter. Best part is both have optical image stabilization and the rear can go up to 4K max at 60 FPS which is pretty insane. The portrait mode is a delight, you can play with some nice lighting effects. Then the Quad LED True Tone Flash, Apple branding, so that's about the device. Very impressive camera performance, here are some sample shots that I quickly took to give you an idea. So guys, currently recording this using the front-facing camera of the iPhone 10, and the audio that you're hearing is also through that. So you get a pretty good idea. And guys, this is an indoor artificial lighting. Now coming to what drives it all, at its core the iPhone 10 has Apple's own A11 Bionic chip bundled with 3GB RAM which makes way to a pretty smooth overall performance. On the software comes with iOS 11.1 out of the box. In my initial test I had no lags be it gaming or multitasking. Initial storage you get is 58GB approximately out of the 64GB. Augmented reality? Yes, with the AR kit we will get to see more AR apps coming in soon. Well, need to wait and see how it changes the total landscape of AR. Now on the battery backup, you get a 2716mAh battery. I haven't tested it yet fully, so really cannot comment. But with that capacity, a day-long use should not be a problem. Though the device supports fast charging, Apple doesn't include a fast charger in the box. Sad. But the good thing is, it supports wireless charging. Future ready for the wireless world. You don't have to buy Apple's expensive charger, any inexpensive QI standard charger works good, like the one you see here. So what I think about the iPhone 10? Well, no doubt this sure is a head turner. The design is gorgeous, has come a long way when compared to its predecessors. The display is stunning, the Face ID is an impressive tech, smooth performance, IP67 waterproof etc. But the price tag is really eye-popping. But yes, that's Apple's positioning all these years. Breakthrough technology done right, impressive design, premium pricing, super smooth UI, big yeah if you're an Apple fanatic or a loyal customer. 
For sure, it's an unquestionably impressive device with brand value. Should you buy one? We'll have to say it's an individual choice. It's totally up to you if you want to spend a bomb. OLED display, face ID, wireless charging, portrait lighting, augmented reality, etc. Given all this, what do you guys think about the pricing? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll be testing this device further and if you have any questions, do post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. So that's it for my unboxing and impressions on the iPhone 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to Techshan, hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon because I don't want you folks to miss my super duper tech videos, which I have lined up for you all. We'll catch you in another exciting video. Until then. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for some fun updates happening around me.